G'day, this is Trajim. Um, I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to use uh, Edural Orchestral in Ableton Live. I'm using Live 6. Um, this is a new session, I haven't done anything here. So what you want to do, first thing, is go into the Arrangement view. Over here on the top right, you've got Session view and Arrangement view. Um, I believe you can press Tab to switch between them. So arrangement view, everything's horizontal across here. Um, select the audio track here. Press delete to delete that. I don't need that. So I've got the first MIDI track selected. Over here on the left, I go down to the plugin browser. Um, Orchestra is already loaded. I won't explain how to do that. I want to just cover the the topic at hand here double click on orchestral or drag it across or however you want and uh, it'll become attached to this MIDI track here. You've got 16 tracks here of instruments. Um, you can change the instruments. What I do is have an a track for the orchestral VST and leave that for the VST and not put any notes in it. So I'll just right click to rename that. I'll call it orchestra or something standard like that. Go down here and right click on it, insert MIDI track or Control shift t minimize the orchestra one. And uh, what you want over here on the left is you want to go down where it says no output, you want to click on that and select the orchestra. Um, if you can't see it you may have to, you can click at the bottom here to pull that out it may be hidden or it may be in a different spot in newer versions, I'm not sure. Um, you select track 1 or we're going to start with 1 and by default it's going to be a vibrato flute. So if I click on this record button and I use my keyboard we can hear that's reading from the flute. That's fair enough. Now the tricky part what you want to do in here is select an area, insert a MIDI clip, Control shift m Now you've got this little piece of MIDI data that you can drag around into any spot you want basically and click on the edges to change its size. Um, you want to go down here into the clip overview, into the note editor, bring this up a bit, and you can see all the notes in here. And um, Basically, the way to set an instrument and make it stick, instead of having to change it every time you load up your piece, is uh, this down here in this notes box. Um, you can click on the little, what's that, a bunch of notes down there to hide that, or to show it rather. You've got the bank, sub bank, and program. These correspond with if you open up your VST again, you've got it says P4, I think that's a P, and then it says 004. Bank, I believe orchestral only reads bank 1 and 2. Bank 1 is preset instruments, all these here. Bank 2 is custom instruments. So if you click on the instrument name, go to anything, and it, where's a custom one? Here we go user ones. CP is bank 1, U for user made or user modified whatever is bank 2. Unless you've modified an instrument so you don't need to use that so we'll change the bank to 1. Sub bank corresponds to these 4, 5, 6, 7 sections here. So sub bank 1 is string, section, sub bank 2 is solo strings, sub bank three is brass section and so on. So let's say we want the brass section, so subbank three. Program is the actual instrument. So if we open up in here so this double zero four in front of fl fl um sorry flute vibrato means program four. Um but it won't do that because it's in subbank 3. So at the moment, if we leave it, 
if we put it to 4 again, it'll go, what's the number 4? Staccato trumpets. Because it's in 1, 2, 3 brass section, sub bank 3, and program 4. I want trumpet section 3. So that says 003, so I'm going to change it to 3. Um, live seems a little bit tricky with reading new data, so what I do is I move to the start of the new clip that I've made, hit space bar or play, just so it reads this clip, so that it reads this bank and program data, and then if I hit this record, and it's reading the third trumpet section variation. So what I've done here is I've opened up an existing piece of mine, um, the horn concerto. You can see over here orchestra one or orchestra and orchestra two and you can see down the side here if you look at these that one's in one, that one's in one, that one's in one, this one's in two, the string instruments and the percussion are in two. One annoying thing I haven't figured out how to automate. If anyone knows how to do this please let me know is to increase the polyphony limit. Basically what that means is how many samples can simultaneously play through this whole instance. Um, 48 samples for 16 instruments is not a lot. I put it up to 128 all the time. And because I have two instruments that makes I believe 256 samples. You'd be surprised how easily that gets consumed by a full orchestra. So we can see if we go into here and into this view all of these should have bank 1, sub bank 5, program 4. That's a flute vibrato. We go down here, bank 1, sub bank 1, program 1. That's a violin section. We go into this one, bank 1, sub bank 3, program 7. I believe that's a soft trombone section. And so on with all these other ones. Uh, I hope that's a good enough starting point for some people um, and uh, let me know what you think of this uh, if you want more tutorials or anything like that just let me know or or ask questions if you have them and I'll see what I can do uh, see you later